Goldie or something. I think the previous season, yeah, I'm still in Goldie. I did, I did lose a ranked match recently, which was uh, terrible, obviously. <laughs> terrible, blow to my com <laughs> terrible blow to my confidence. Ah, we got the, the dark, oh, the darkness, or just darkness. It's going on super speed. Are you in at the moment? I am in. I'm having a. I'm trying to watch your stream right now to see it okay. go, but it looks like it's a little bit. Oh yeah, that's I'm seeing a degrade game. versus uh, grade match right now. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a very nice dragon heart. Oh. Someone. Oh, okay. We've got a house. Thank you very much. Round three. Fight. That would be me. Excellent. Yeah. Now, I'm... told a bunch of friends about this stream, so we'll see if any of them can join in and say hi. Throw some tweets right now. Right. So uh, I should do a bit of commentating while I'm sorting all that out. Um, we've got knock. With De Grey right now, and Darkness with Grave, and Nox just gone two one up, going into round four. This is a rank match, of course, so this is this is serious, as they say. Now, which way is my headset going? I'm trying to adjust the volume on my headset, but I'm very the new headset, so I may just blow my eardrums out. Now we're good. So Darkness gets a grab. Darkness needs this round. Goes for the re. Almost, well, the frame trap rather than the damage, you should say. Not, not exactly a reset situation. I sometimes actually do that with the grey. Gets the parry to win it! Okay, goes to 2-2. Two, two. Oh, sorry. No, sorry, that's not winning with the I'm getting very confused already. It's a good start. It's all good. <laughs> so what's a warm-up? It's a warm-up. So, yeah, sorry. Game so one next, goes to knock. Game one goes to knock. That's what I was trying to say, honest. Let the test begin. Anyway, it's morning for you. Well, getting towards towards afternoon for you, I suppose. Late morning. It's about 11:04 in the morning. Yeah. So. So we're starting. And we're out here in San Diego. Yeah. Oh, I was like the perfect jump. Like that's that's rare you get that. Like usually you try to, you get punished horribly <laughs> trying to jump over gears, but that was oh, like right yes. on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, got him. Flashing red chip there too. That was like super close. Clutch play. I like. Not. I like the ground B to beat the uh, the flash gear at distance. That was pretty good. Mm -hmm. Out of my house. I find this is something I find in this match actually as uh, as Midori. The transform to dragon is obviously great. Once you are a dragon, it can actually be quite difficult. That's right. <laughs> like, you see, so you, you want no. the transform. Oh, he's got that flashing red again. Can he clutch out another one? Not this time. That so, would have been blocked damage either way. Both rounds have come down to one hit left, one guy and flashing. <laughs> it's pretty close. Yeah. Yeah, like, dealing with flash gear is. Or not, not a flash gear, but drop gear is really difficult for Midori because you just want to parry it, right? You, it feels like a thing that you should be able to parry no problem, but it's so fast, and like by the time you realize he's doing, like you gotta time it right yeah, to do. begin with, and then if you're too early, it whiffs, like the parry doesn't work, and then if you're too late, that was a really <laughs> my goodness. I mean, he paid for it, but he really wanted that grab, and he got him, and he got the win. So who are we to argue? <laughs> it's the correct strategy <laughs> when you know it's gonna work. See, yep. Fight. that's the beauty of fighting games, right? This is this is the old uh, Zangief strategies here. Walk into any punch yeah. as long as you can get that grab. <laughs> what? I I'm not sure what was happening either. But Excellent parry. Oh, bait the that flash, flash gear. The flash gear, but doesn't happen. Now he gets it and doesn't miss. Gets doesn't get the full punish. But mm. wow. Okay. I feel like not. Yeah. Have that. He, he probably could have the normal throw there at that range. Maybe not the four day, but definitely the normal throw. You gotta respect Midori's throw range. Wow! That's a nice parry. And that was actually a mispunish there yeah, too. Again. Nice. That upset for the cross up though. <gasps> Tried it again. These, these you hear that click though? Yep. He wanted to do it. That's gotta be. That's gotta be good for your ego. Like he, he you heard the click. <laughs> These guys so you know are, you wanted it. These two have played a bunch, I believe, and they're really in each other's heads right now. <laughs> <laughs>
darkness with the win. Well played. So that's like that's like the yummy thing of like when you lose a set because you're like, hey, I was pretty sure you were gonna do this, and then they're like, oh, well, I would have, but I didn't have a throw in my hand, and you're just like, yeah. I had the read. Had the right read, but they didn't do the things they couldn't do it. In that case, didn't yeah. have the, didn't have the charge. Yeah, exactly. I must admit that's one of my uh, my special tactics with uh, <laughs> with Geiger is getting a lot of uh, yummy counters when I'm trying to do a play <laughs> <laughs> that I don't have charge for. That's an uh, option select you can oh, tell absolutely. yourself. Absolutely, yeah. Well, uh, fuzzy. Let's call it a fuzzy. I, <laughs> fuzzy. <laughs> yeah. It. I don't think these are. Yeah. There's not true option selects in the same vein. Right, right, right. There's nothing I would classify as a true option select option select in this game, to be honest. Right, mostly that's, just that's like fuzzy the closest, actually. Yeah, like it's Just fuzzy somewhere. stuff, which is it is useful to know to do, but it's not like you're always going to get the best outcome. That's right. It means you make a decision at this one point, and then a few frames later, you are making another decision. So it's like there's a fun interaction with like Valerie versus Rook where that can happen, where you want to uh, you want to do like a BBC, and then when you're next to him. It's like a super free throw for him, right? So you want a Yomi counter 100% of the time as Val. Yes. If you wait too long, you can just get hit by a neutral A. If you wait way too long, you hit by a command grab. If you wait at all, you get hit by a ground super. But right, the yeah, other thing yeah. you can do is if the Val is teaching you that all she wants to do is wait a few frames and then jump, you can wait a few frames and then throw, and then and you then still grab her out of two jump right. frames. Yeah, and no Yomi counter. So there's a lot of that. But again, those are decisions that both players made to delay their 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 yep. defensive option, and it's it's cool. Like like yeah, it's not an option select in the slightest. It, a... It's an option select if they're gonna do a hundred percent first frame throw after the C, yeah. or command grab. Then it is a true option select, and it actually does work for you as well. But then yeah. Yeah. you know Rook's got to change up what he's doing. Just baiting these ground supers. Yeah, I'm not sure the darkness was uh, ready for that matchup. He seems to be struggling a lot against the Geiger with Jaina. I actually yeah. do as well, to be fair. I find that match really difficult. Yeah, time stop is pretty hard to deal with. Um, you want to be doing like a lot of air and ground fireballs, but again, it's like not the easiest thing to do when he can just walk underneath you and flash gear you. Like you want to be in the in the zoner matchups. I find that Jaina wants to be the rushdown character. Like, her dive kick is so oppressive, even for a character that has a reversal, um, that you just want to be in there and just like spamming it, making them spend resources. Yeah, definitely. It's, uh, I suppose it's still who, who is the rush down kind of thing, but it's yeah, beat it's down versus... very much, it's not so clear who's the beat down. Yeah, that's an old magic thing, actually, isn't it? Yeah, beat down and inevitability. Yeah. yeah. Jaina almost becomes the beatdown against Geiger, probably slightly more. Yeah. Even though they've both got right. supers to help them at range, but I think Geiger's helps. Oh my goodness, that's a, that's a big YOLO, read man. from the darkness, yeah. <laughs> Too much. Too YOLO. I'm just going yeah. into the dragon art as well, but the dragon transform made it a very good time for that in the end. Oh! Gets oh. Dragon versus dragon, he's just going to dragon the dragon. Ah, uh, no. Alright, ah. not clicking a game point right now. Fight. Again though, it's risky business. The transform back is really your scare, but uh, he's got him now, yeah, he should be okay. And no, uh, just Yeah, just you see Doc with the read, he's like, I'm just gonna walk up to him just and just parry. Because he's so convinced he's gonna do a reversal. As I say, these two definitely play Yo, a little Oh, anti-air B. Okay. What that combos? Oh, yeah. finally gets it. But he was man, that was flame arrow only... almost came out. That would have been yeah. would have been the round there. But now he takes it three to well, one. It looks like. Well played, not well played. So he's moving up in silver. Probably. Well, we'll see. Oh, another new player, Rocket Doll. Nice. Is, is knock the uh, the story today? We're gonna, we're gonna follow uh, him 